Alrighty, how to change oil on a Ford Ranger. You guys got the description on what type it is. But yeah, oil and or oil engine and oil filter on a Ford Ranger. So you take off the cap. So I'm actually tightening it down. So counterclockwise, take it off, put it to the side here, or jam it in between, or put it to the corner. But if it falls in the back, it won't fall in the back, but it's good right there. Put it somewhere where it won't fall and get stuck somewhere. So this is pretty comfortable right here. So there, there. Uh, sorry for that, how to open up the hood. So you go in here, hood latch opener. So you open this, pull it. Then you just pull this latch back and then you raise the hood up until you get it to there. Then this rod's gonna be on this uh, snapping contraption. Yeah, whatever that thing is called. Yeah. Uh, let's just call it the hood latch holder or the hood rod holder, whatever. So you're gonna put this to there, so that's up. Then you go around, take off the cap, leave it over there on the corner. On the bottom. So obviously you got your oil pan. This is mine. Oil pan. Got that here. There's the bolt. That bolt is a 13 millimeter. See that? Just put it there. Put it there and release. See that? So after you got that, take it out, take the bolt out. Let it drain on the oil pan, let it just pop out and drain, drain down here. Then after this is done, put the bolt back in, then you got the oil filter back there. To take that guy out, I use these right here, I just put it here at an angle, then slowly just uh, wrench it left with the little space you got, wrench it left until it gets loose and then you can take it out by hand. I think I got it good enough, like, let's see. Yep, I got it good enough, so it should start out uh, leaking soon. But yeah, you take the filter out, then, then here's the new filter right here, and a Motocraft one. So what you do is you flip it, take some oil, and since that, since that oil filter is already upside down like that, all you have to do is just pour in some oil. Ah, went a bit too much. That's okay. I use that oil to actually lube the ring because you do have to lubricate the ring here. So you lube the ring. So after you got that and you take the old filter out, then you take this one and put it back in. Hand tight. As tight as you can by hand and leave it like that. Then you go in with the oil quartz. You go up here. Then you pour the oil quartz in there one by one till you get all five in. Then you just put the cap back on, all right? So you put the cap back on. You got everything tight on the bottom already. You put this guy back and you go over here. You make yourself a little oil sticker. I put September 2021 or 166,000. It's at 157, why? Because my oil is Schaefer's oil 9,000. It's supposed to last 9,000 miles or nine months. If no oil leaks or uh, oil consumption. Uh, this guy's already due. He didn't use Schaefer's this, 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 this day. He used Valvoline, but I still he still used my sticker. So I'm gonna peel this guy off and then I'm gonna put this guy on. And so I'm just basically gonna put this guy here and that's it. Uh, there's nothing to reset on these type of cars. These, I don't think it says uh, oil maintenance, re oil maintenance uh, reset procedure. So, yeah, that's basically it. If there is a reset procedure. I just make one in a separate video.